Hi loves, thank you so much for joining me. I am Coach Kara. So today we're talking about another relationship video and one that may hit home or resonate with many of you out there, sadly enough. Okay, so we are talking about when you cheated, your person cheated, we both cheated. Now what? So here's the thing, regardless of why the why the one partner cheated first you know it could just be because it was an opportunity perhaps maybe even an emotional investment and that was discovered regardless if you're married or not or you've just been in a committed long-term supposedly monogamous relationship all right so never mind why the one partner who cheated first and that was discovered. The issue lies is when the other partner goes and do the exact same thing. Commit a disloyal act by being unfaithful. So now the question lies, where do we go from here? Okay, where does our relationship stand? Well, I have answers for that. The question is, right now your relationship is in the worst place possibly, uh, to, the worst place it could possibly be in. Because what happens is, if your relationship was already in a state of turmoil, meaning you had smaller unresolved issues, which may seem big to you, but because they were unresolved, they remain sizable. Um, and perhaps maybe your relationship wasn't in that bad of a state. You know, you guys may have had just common issues that most relationships were garnered throughout, you know, the journey of, but then this bigger issue came about to where both of you committed an act. So if you had smaller issues, already in your relationship that were unresolved, now you have this massive concern sitting atop of them. How are you going to resolve this major issue? When both of you have committed the same crime, okay? I don't know if it was out of spite or more than likely it was out of spite because if the, per if the second partner did the same thing, then it was probably more than less spiteful. You know, it was from a place of resentment of some sort, animosity. How are you going to resolve that? Okay. So if you're not trying to be in your situation any longer, you know, you discuss that, you break up amicably and you go on your separate ways. But just know, just because you're leaving, you're out of the clear. Because when you do such things, just it will stick with you. It will tarry in the back of your mind. It will always be a part of your subconscious. Because you too have been traumatized, the both of you, at some capacity. Okay? So don't just say because you're walking away that you're going to dodge a bullet, either of you. And then it's just going to go away. Oh no, you will be affected. If not more than you would be by staying in the relationship. Okay. So if you choose to walk away, that's not a bad idea at all. Okay. Because the task is that's going to be at hand. If you both decide to remain, is going to be that of a greater challenge than what you were already having in your relationship. If you weren't having that many issues, you got you got along for the most part of the time and you didn't have that many issues and now this sort of scenario comes about, you're still going to have a major feat at trying to get back to a sustainable working connection. And why is that? Because now you have to rebuild. If you already had pre-existing issues, Guess what? You're going to now have to work on those smaller issues to discover where the infidelity came into play. You know, it's one thing to have an opportunity. You're so you're someplace, maybe at a party, you're inebriated. 
opportunity presents itself, you just take it just because out of fun. You know, you're not in your right state of mind. That's one thing. But when it's thought out and it's purposely done, it's intentional. It's not a mistake. Either incidents are neither a mistake. If you plan it, it's it's intentional. Okay. So you're going to have to find out what led you to make that conscientious decision. You understand? What led you to that? Was it because your person stopped communicating with you or because you two stopped spending time? Your relationship began to become more questionable than anything. You never really got answers as to the whys. Whys and the wheres and hows. You, understand? you see? And so when you haven't resolved those, you're going to have a very, and I hate saying this, it's going to be very challenging to try to understand and get to a place to where you can just kind of just be in your relationship when there is infidelity by the both of you. So tackling the smaller issues first to find out how you got to that place. And if you didn't have any pre-existing issues, you know, even smaller or maybe even one major issue, even still, it's going to be a feat. Now you're going to have to rebuild, as I stated earlier, create boundaries so that you can rebuild respect. If there was any, you know, usually there's not a whole lot of respect when you go into committed relationships. And that's where the challenges become, uh, you know, come into play. And then there's a lack of trust. Now, trust. Woo. How are we going to deal with that? Especially if one of you, if not both, of you have jealousy issues it's going to be quite challenging and the reason why it's going to be even more challenging to be able to do just those three things is because it's going to take a great deal of wanting to do so willingness to be active to work on it to want to sit and have quality time and communicate to how do we get here how do we resolve how can we present uh, pre prevent this from happening going forward so it never gets to this state because just know that both of you may be walking on eggshells it's not a matter of <clears throat> excuse me of when or if you'll do it again it's when the opportunity will present itself and if i've always said if you're new to my channel life i don't know the devil whatever has a way of intervening that opportunity at the worst time in your relationship. It's, it's rarely when you're in a good state and you're in a happy place. No, it's always where there's like a crack. There's a minor crack starting to, to form to build that divide. And it comes about. So it's, it's when and will you be strong enough now that you've gone through this to reject, to know how to walk away. But then that takes a high level of emotional intelligence, maturity, being secure with yourself, having that level of security from your person so you don't have to feel you need to go someplace else to feel wanted or desired or whatever your issue is. So there's a lot of work to be had, not just in within your relationship, but within, your, well, within yourself, internalizing what happened why you did what you did, acknowledging it, taking accountability, forgiving, forgiving yourself, forgiving your person. There's a lot of resolve that has to take place and it's not going to be easy. Trust me, I have dealt with couples who were just not able to get back because it's always, if I go to the store for 10 minutes, ding, 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 when are you coming back? You know, it's, or they, they come back in within the 10 minutes and then it's like, whew, and then now your person sees that reaction. Oh, you thought I was going to, you know, so it's always going to be something of that, that capacity. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of patience and tolerance. If you want your connection to work. 
If you don't have any of that within you to fight for this because it is quite valuable to you, your relation is quite important, your person is of high significance, I doubt that because you would have never cheated in the first place. Okay. So the question lying, you know, that, that lies is do you really love your person? Because regardless of, I know quite a few people who have watched their person cheat over and over again and they never even thought about doing the same. Flirt. Yeah, maybe just to get that attention that they've been missing, but to go to the extent of going outside of your relationship that's supposed to be committed and, and committing that level of, of crime. Okay. Like, so, so you really need to be questioning, is it really love in your connection? Yeah. So when you cheat, your person cheat, is it worth staying? Only if it was strong before. Only if there was a genuine connection beforehand. You guys didn't have a lot of issues. You know how to resolve and then get back. Yes, there's a great chance that you could just completely forget about what transpired and then move forward. But on the other end, I mean, on the flip side, if your relationship was already in shambles and going through some sort of turmoil and then this occurs, that's like a massacre. It's very hard to back, bounce back. It's going to, like I said, it could take years to repair. Years. Because you're working on yourself as well as your relationship. That's a lot, people. Just working on yourself and try to, to, to become to a higher place just mentally is a lot. Okay, and it takes a lot of uh, willingness and you have to be strong willed to have that mind of being dedicated to do that. Okay, it's quite challenging. So, you know, it's, it's so what, what really should be done is just taking a step back and, and and pretending as if you're someone from the outside looking at your relationship. What does that look like to you? Okay. Just think about all the things that have occurred in your relationship and now both of you cheat. What does that look like? And how would you feel if it happened to you? Then you will have the answer if you should go forward with this union or lack thereof. Okay? So guys, if you have any other questions, if you need counseling or coaching sessions, all of my information will be down below. Uh, most relationships are quite unique. Certain things happen, different levels. You really should sit down and have some sort of mediator. And especially if you're married, I would suggest going to, you know, your, your minister, your preacher, whomever you go to church with, some sort of mediation to get you guys back. Okay. And even if you're not married and you've been together for quite some time, or maybe not even, you still need someone to coach you guys through this process. It's going to, it's going to be quite challenging. It really is. It really is. Okay. But it can be done with great deal of effort and a willingness to do so. All right, my loves, that is all for now. And thank you so much for joining me always. Until next time.